Sunland Apple IPTV Entertainment Perfected Faces Candy. Judgment Day, also known as the Final Judgment. It is the very last thing that happens before God destroys the old heaven and the old earth, which are corrupt on account of sin. Before he creates his new heaven and new earth, he has to do away with anything that could bring sin into the new creation. The devil has just been cast into the lake of fire, where the beast and the false prophet Antichrist have already been since they were defeated when Jesus returned before the beginning of the millennium. This is to be the eternal retribution for their sin and rebellion against God. Now the time has come for God to judge who is to join them in the lake of fire, and who is worthy of a place on the new earth. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive the things done in the body, according to what he has done, whether good or bad. 2 Corinthians 5:10. These signs of the zodiac are always under the protection of higher forces. The universe has rewarded them with an innate optimism that is their main guide in life. The heavens do not allow them to give up even in the most difficult moments, which helps them not to cry over problems, but calmly solve them, continuing to move only forward. It seems that they are given everything easily, but it is not. These signs are Taurus and Aquarius. On Judgment Day, no one will have an excuse that they never knew God existed, and here's why. According to Romans chapter 1 verses 18, it reads, for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth. For what can be known about God is plain to them, because God has shown it to them. For his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world, in the things that have been made, so they are without excuse. We have all heard such statements made before. Look at creation. Can we say this did not have a designer? Can we say this was just by accident or some random occurrence? Look at how the brain works. Look at the leaves. Look at the grass. Look at waterfalls and everything else. Can we say this was without a designer? But people will still refuse. Why? Because they deny the truth in their unrighteousness. God has made it clear that he exists. This has been acknowledged by people who are not even saved. Both believers and non-believers have acknowledged the fact that there has to be a creator and a designer of the universe and everything created, but people will still deny it. So on Judgment Day, despite God showing them as much evidence in the intricate detail, you're telling me you make a painting that you think about for weeks and it looks beautiful and all of a sudden, the natural painting of the world, the natural things of this world, the trees, the forests, the walkways, and all these things were just by chance? No. It's your unrighteousness denying it. And when you stand before God, you will not be able to say, I didn't know that you existed. How could you have expected me to believe in you when I did not know that you existed? You did know. Everything that you needed to know that he existed, exists and is shown plain to you. But you still denied it. No one will have an excuse on Judgment Day. No one at all. God will find you. Sunland Apple IPTV Entertainment Perfected Faces Done by Candy. See, I didn't find God in the church. In fact, I didn't find God at all. He found me. He met me in a place where I was so broken I couldn't get up. And when you're loved like that, it will shock you. Whoever needs to hear this, listen now. God did not bring you this far to leave you. He did not bring you this far to... The scripture says that he that started a good work good work he starts a good work he's faithful to see it through till the end the work that the Lord has starts has started in you is a good work and he will surely see it through to the end he said he says it makes all things work together for good for those that love love the Lord and are called according to his purpose his purpose you did not find God contrary to um, you know to to the to the to the way it is explained today that oh I found God I found God you did not find God God was not lost you was you was lost God found you and so if he finds you 
He is big enough, strong, and strong enough, and able enough to secure you and to keep you. You've got to believe that. In the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter six, verse forty-four, it says, "No one can come to you unless the Father, who sent me, draws him, and I will raise him up at the last day." Christ is saying that. If the Father did not send you, if the Father did not um, send you to Him, you will not be able to know Him. So God found you. So you've got to believe that if He found you and He's brought you this far, then He's faithful enough, He's able enough, and He's more than willing to see you through to the very end because He does a good work. He doesn't. He doesn't um, do unfinished business. No. The Lord finishes His work perfectly. The book of Ephesians two verses uh, ten says that um, we are God's masterpiece. We are God's masterpiece. Listen to these words: created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared for us a long time ago. So before you were even born, there was a preparation for you. You've got to believe that because it's true. Before you even says, before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. I'd set you apart, right? So there's a preparation for you. There's a plan for you. There's a purpose for you. There's a there's a path for you. And and you are a masterpiece that is going through to perfection. You will be perfected. You're going through a process that is going to take you to perfection. The Lord did not bring you this far to leave. God wants to be pursued. He's a relational God. He's, he's a jealous God. He wants your heart. He wants your devotion. He wants your passion. In fact, he gives us an incredible promise in, in Jeremiah 29 verse 13. He says this, God says, you will seek me. And what happens when you seek me? When you seek me, he says, you'll find me. It's a promise. If you pursue God, he will reveal himself to you. You will seek me and find me. When you seek me with all your heart, God says, I will be found by you, declares the Lord. When you draw near to him, when you pursue him, when you crave him, when you hunger for him, God loves to be pursued and he loves to reveal himself to you. To speak to people about a peck. So when you look at a peck, it has the silver spring in the center. Yes. A peck cannot function without the silver spring in the center. If I remove the silver spring in the center, it will be just two pieces of planks that mean nothing. Same yeah. thing with your life. If I remove God at the center of your heart, you'll be a meaningless person. You wouldn't know your purpose. You wouldn't know your calling. You wouldn't know who you are. Number two, when you hang clothes on a line, why do you put a peg? You put a peg so that in back a zinga or a zinga goes. Same thing with your life. Why do you receive God in your life? You receive God so that you don't fall into depression, anger, anxiety, bitterness, jealousy. That is why you need God in your life so that you can be who you are and know your identity and purpose. Number three, if I remove the clothes from the pegs, so that is why it's very important to stick on to the Lord. Number four, Apex does not discriminate Sisley right. Les impartial coil doesn't matter whether you are rich, whether you are poor, whether you are filthy, whether you are dirty. Apex job is to hold you back. It does not matter who you are. Apex is gonna hold you. Isn't this is the same thing that God says? Come as you are. It doesn't matter how broken. It doesn't matter what happened in your life. God is saying that just come as you are. Right now during this lockdown, there's somebody that's broken. It's saying that. I have no future. There's no hope, Bungan. But I want to tell you, God is saying, come as you are. And the word fear, Sisley Rato, the word fear, this word, fear, it has two meanings for me, Sisley Rato. It says, first meanings from the enemy. And people will say, forget everything and run away from the promises that God has for you. It's saying forget. But I want you to turn it around today. I don't care what situation you're facing today. Turn it around. Face everything and rise i don't care what situation you've been through a lot of people they might have thrown stones dogs do not bark at a car that stands still but dogs bark at a car that's moving so what i'm telling you run hustle it's difficult today i'm an author my friends when i shut my
the mirror lately Wish you could trade eyes with me Cause there's complexities in complexion But your skin is glow like diamonds Dig me like the earth you be giving birth To everything alive, baby, know your worth I love everything about you from your nappy curls To every single curve, your body natural Same skin that was broken, me the same skin taking over Most things are the focus for you But when you're in the room, they know Tells your story, keep dancing, they can't control you. They watching, they 